Yep. All right, folks, Rick Mills here. We are in Hawaii. We're doing almost a veteran hunt today on 6 June, D-Day. We won't meet uh, up with them till later. We're gonna link up with a couple guys. They're already out. We got a Marine Corvette and then Air Stan, Force. Air Force out on the other side and then <laughs> lights are going out. Hey, we're going hunting. We're going rifle hunting. Thanks, man. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for coming. Awesome. All right, let's go hunting. Take them off. Take them off. See the open area? See the open area? Yep. Oh. Which way did they go? They, they ran up the ridge to the right. He was only 100 yards. So we should go this way and cut him off. <laughs> Oh. You almost right, took his head off! Right behind the ear! No wonder it flopped around. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, I got my hands on my first access to you. Look at that. I didn't shoot it, but... Look at that. Stan's a Marine. He's an Air Force. Air Force guy across the way shot it. We should take it. It's be easier for us to take it to our vehicle and for you to come around. There's a road right by the water truck. You're coming down this side? You know that black water truck? The black tank. The road goes right through the black tank. You got to get Ray though first. Yeah, I don't know where Ray is. No There's no signal down there. How we, what are we going to do now? <laughs> oh man, that's a brutal shot. What are you shooting, man? A cannon? <laughs> Small gun. Oh, yeah. 50 cal?
lot of these behind my truck. That's all state hunting areas. Stanley can explain more to you how the state and Pulama works as far as because he was the hunting guy before for yeah. a while. Top-notch like Ricky Bills over here. Ricky, this is Rick. Good to meet you. Hey. Marine. Hey. Stanley. Hey. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Hey. Finally. <laughs> Good shot. Nice shirt. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I say. Oh, you took him for a stroll, eh? Soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> That's beer. I'm complaining. Oh, That's beer. That's him. the beer. That's the out. beer from the past one. <laughs> Four days. Four. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, shut up. I'm shaking from like dehydration <laughs> and running around. All right, so we're going over here. We're gonna check out this draw. We're gonna walk that draw all the way down. Okay, a deeper draw. I see two deer. Well, the third one went to the left. There, 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 there. Take him. You ready? Hang on. Okay, I'm on him. You missed him. He just he moved as you shot. He just moved as you shot, man. That guy, one other guy is in here. Nice one. Right. Okay, nice there. Right. 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 Just like your fish, yeah, Jay. Just kill no touch of me, nah. Yeah, he come and get up. Come on. Yeah, get up. Right. I can give the yeah. food next job. <laughs> Work on this side. The way we will. What is it? You gotta tell them what getting. So what's in there? The what's in the killer? I'm gonna tell you the secret. Oh, I'm sorry. The just secret is your secret. Just All right. The only way out. Scott, how are you? Every hey. way out. There's a tender loin in there. That was that. That was that. So Ghani says. That's tenderloin, and then what's your recipe? Give me your recipe. Sweet onions. Oh man, we had this big freaking discussion about the way immigration. Get pretty much. Thank Reggie for the kilo in. Who's in this bag? Reggie. Who's in this bag? Ryan Orange. This is the bag. Oh, okay. Just oh, okay. oh, okay. oh, You guys. White
All right, folks, day two, rifle hunt. Lanai, Hawaii, back at it. We had a good cookout last night, at barbecue. Jackie's. <laughs> a lot of good people, good times. Ate some good food. Did a little Tennessee honey, honey whiskey. Finished the bottle. Whew. That was nice. In the end, we were passing it around, just drinking out of the bottle, everybody. It's crazy. Yeah. So, we're back in the hunting area. We're going in the hole. Well, we're gonna stop parts of the road in. What's in the hole? Talk about the hole. It's the honey hole, man. <laughs> Should I say more? <laughs> sweet spot yeah at least in my previous hunts I just can't believe it'd be nice to walk up on some deer that didn't bust us you know it's like yesterday we were hunting and it's like every animal that we were going after was busted and running away from us and freaked not, out we were not your mouflon <laughs> no, we busted that. She ran up out of the draw and she stopped at the no, ridge in line. The afternoon. But yesterday, yeah, yesterday when we were stalking, I have no clue how many mouflon we saw, and we just we didn't get busted by any of them. It was a good day. We busted the deer because we were driving. The deer, mouflon, the rams. If we would have stopped on that corner, I was like, hey, stop here. Yeah, and he drove already, another 50 meters forward. Boom. You already had high alert animal Boston on the run, run, man. You can't, they won't, they won't stop. Once they start running, they won't stop. You seen them, by the time we got on them, they were up on the hill already, yeah? Those three. I mean, these guys are hunted every single day, so. They're as kitschy as you can get them. High pressure. Yeah. High pressure deer. High pressure everything. Everything is. We're here again. Getting shot at every day. <laughs> we'll see. We're going to the hole. So one thing I learned yesterday when we were processing the deer, for all you American hunters out there in the 48, they don't have ticks here. Nope. Even those larvae behind the neck? No more. Nothing. I was like, okay, here we go. Pulled my knife out, started going to work. And I was expecting like bugs to go everywhere, ticks to fall off. And have, oh, this is where we were yesterday when we busted them off. This is where they were. They were like right in this area right here. No, it's the second turn. Okay. Yeah, but it's still sitting. Yeah, Let's this sit is here still for a second. hot spot. Let's just sit here for a second. We're Hollywood hunting. <laughs> we're working our way to the hole. We're not Hollywood hunting. We, we're, we're doing our plan, but we're not going to just drive down there without looking, of course. Oh, we're yeah. going to the hole, but we might as well at least look while we're on our way down there. Doesn't make any sense to blow by everything. We didn't have nothing out here yesterday. Nothing. Only move long so, down there. Yeah, so we're just driving through. They're really expecting not to see anything. So Hollywood hunting. That's what we call it here. We call it drive hunting. <laughs> when you're driving around looking for game, it's Hollywood hunting. Yeah. That's how. I tell you what, hunt. it's a long ways from where we are to that water down there, and we're going to one of these draws down there, and and like. I ain't walking from it's like here. about five miles from here to the ocean. We probably, all the walking we did yesterday, we only got like halfway to the water. We still had, and we walked nine miles? Almost nine miles. How many flights of stairs? 74. 74 flights of stairs, nine miles walking yesterday in one day. Let's go. I told Ghani, man, this is getting me in shape for Colorado elk. I felt it in my legs after yeah, the first Ricky was day. chasing after the deer that was running. 
like literally running after him. <laughs> Do it. Last of the Mohican style. Last of the Mohicans. Now I am. The one in the front? I can only see one. Okay, I'm on that one, the one. Broadside, perfect. Get your hands off the camera. Ready? Yeah. Down, baby. Mr. Lanai Hunter. Drive hunting. Drive hunting. Oh, oh there's more. Look at them. Look at them all. You getting video of that? Yeah. They're not stopping. Look for a buck. Look at them all. Look at them all. Holy crap. They're hauling ass now, man. I told you they won't stop. <laughs> They're going down the hole, no worries. Yeah, that's cool. I'm just looking, man. With all those females, there's got there might be a buck there. We don't wanna. Just wait a second. Ricky Mills with his first axis kill on the night. Johnny got him. Coming in. Oh, what's that? <gasps> what is that? Look at the Easter Easter basket I found. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh... Shot one kill. Nice. Nice. I see the exit wound right here. So you whack him in the neck. I can't find the entrance one. Two, three. Three. Two, three. Now turn the phone sideways. Two, three. Two, three. Ricky Mill is dragging a deer out of the bush in Lanai. All right, we found her. Day two, doe down real early. We didn't even make it to the hole. We are going in the hole. I just want to go to the hole because it sounds cool. <laughs> I just want to go to the hole so I can say I went to the hell hole. Nice.
if you pay attention right here, you'll see a deer peel off to the left. No more rams. Look even closer now or you'll see a deer moving with the move line. Alright folks, we're above the hell hole. Yes, I have a handkerchief on my head. It's protecting my neck and my ears. That's old school stuff. So we had a whole group of mouflon down in there. We were within probably 80, 70 of them. And we got spotted and they busted out. I think we got a little video of them running off. Mm -hmm. That's the hell hole. And then it drops off like a cliff. So if you look over here, you see this cliff right here? That's basically what it does. That goes straight down. So if you look at the corner of the hell hole, like right over here, that goes straight down. So they have to go right or they have to go left. And this time the move line went to our right. But there's obviously nothing else back down here. No deer at all. Gany. <laughs> We decided since we were that close to the edge, we might as well push the extra 100 meters forward, take a look over the edge. something in this draw man be careful because it'd be facing down hey let's look in this draw before we uh look over the edge make sure there's nothing in there it's all you hey it's all you if there's something in there i'm filming you I used to jump out of planes, and I still get that weird feeling in your stomach when you look over the edge of something at this height. Wild stuff. There's a cave under there. Yeah, I see.
All right, folks, that closes out our 2023 rifle hunt in Lanai, Hawaii. Thanks, man. Appreciate no it. Thanks for the time and the energy. When are you coming back? Next year. Next year. Next year. I'm already planning it. Two weeks next year, 2024. First two weeks in June. Anybody want to join me? Give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> Probably bringing the wife. And, uh, yeah, this is a magical place. So, got a mouflon on day one, and we got a axis doe this morning. So, and we've been seeing a lot of mouflon. Lots of mouflon. Testing we saw some out. deer. We had three bucks stand up last night. I took a shot at one. You can see in the video that, you know, he. I was getting ready to pull the trigger, and he took that step forward, and that bullet hit like oh. exactly where that deer's was chest standing. was. It would have been nice to get something with some hard, some horns on it. But I'm back in the woods tomorrow for our bow hunt. If you haven't seen uh, part two of this video series, we've got the rifle hunt as part one. We're going to be doing the bow hunt as part two. Check out part two as I chase big axis bucks in the archery only areas here in Lanai, Hawaii. Thanks again, brother. Good times. We'll see you in the woods, folks.